You've probably seen those Asian guys who stand out from the crowd. They're usually well-dressed, well-groomed, seem to get along with a lot of people, and just have like a good energy around them in general. The secret to becoming that guy is to be good at at least these five things. Fashion, fitness slash health slash like physique, self-grooming, social skills, and career. If you're decently good at all of these things together, then you will without a doubt stand out. And this kind of sounds like a lot and might seem pretty difficult, but if you really just break it down, it's actually not too bad. When I say get decent at something, I mean get in the top, maybe like 20% of that individual category. And getting into the top 20% of each of these categories individually is quite simple. For example, for fitness, if you just work out and eat clean and do that consistently, then you will probably be within like the top 20% of like guys, right? Cause like most guys are either like skinny fat or just like overweight and like they're not even really doing anything about it. So it's quite easy to kind of blow these people out of the water. For fashion, you can do something as simple as having well-fitting minimalistic clothing and you'll probably also already be in the top 20%. Again, a lot of guys just kind of have no concept of drip whatsoever. So it's very doable to get in the top 20% of any of these categories individually. The key is to kind of just get in the top 20% for all of these categories at the same time. It's kind of like a combo effect and it does follow the idea of excellence in all areas and that will inevitably make you stand out. So with that being said, I'll quickly go over each of these categories and just talk about how to really get into the top 20% of each of these categories and what you can start doing to start making progress tomorrow. Number one is fitness. This is the most straightforward and for most guys, this is probably the one that you're most progressed in. To get into the top 20% of guys in this category, all you really need to do is to one, pick a workout routine for an aesthetic body, two, eat clean and eat high protein, and three, just stick to steps one and two and just do that over and over again for a few months. With this consistency, you'll make a lot of progress and you'll easily be in the top 20% of guys after a few months pass by. Again, most people are either like skinny fat or like obese and they're not even really like doing anything about it. So it's quite easy to surpass them in that aspect. No matter if you're currently overweight and you wanna lose some weight, or if you're skinny right now and you wanna bulk up and gain some muscle, working out and eating clean alone, just doing those two things consistently will transform your body composition. But it is better to set goals for your specific situation. So if you're currently overweight and you want to lose a few pounds, then you'll probably want to one, find a like workout routine for an aesthetic body, two, figure out how many calories your body burns just from like being alive. This is called your like TDEE or whatever, and there's like calculators online if you just Google TDEE calculator in Google, you'll be able to find that. And then you'll be able to kind of figure out how many calories you need to eat to be in a deficit so you can actually lose this weight. And just kind of like doing things like that and making a plan of action as to like how you'll eat to kind of like lose this weight, how to construct your meals, how to construct like a meal plan and a workout plan, and just kind of making like a step-by-step -step plan in achieving your goal. So your actionable step is to set a fitness goal and then make a plan to achieve it. Category number two is fashion. This is also pretty straightforward. You just kind of have to like dress well. If you're a beginner in fashion, the best way to do this is to just download the Pinterest app or just go on like the Pinterest website and then look up like aesthetic blank outfits for guys where blank is like the kind of style that you like. And if you don't know what style you like, then you can literally just look up aesthetic outfits for guys and a bunch of pictures will pop up. And what you should do is pick one that you think looks really cool and try and copy that outfit exactly. Like buy the exact like t-shirt that he's wearing or like the exact like pants or like shoes, or whatever that he's wearing, or at least get like very similar pieces so you can kind of like emulate the outfit. You might not hit the spot exactly the first time, like the shirt might be a little too long and too baggy and that'll make like the proportions of the outfit look weird, which will make the outfit look worse overall. But from that one experience, you'll kind of learn the lesson of how important like the actual fit of a piece of clothing is. And that's something you'll be able to use for like the rest of your life basically. And as you make more and more of these outfits, you'll kind of learn more and more of these lessons and you'll also develop more of a taste of what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you think looks good, etc. And once you get to that point, you've started to develop your own unique style. And I personally think this is the best way to develop your personal style. So your actionable step for this category is to download Pinterest if you don't have it already, and then look up like aesthetic blank outfits. So it could be something as simple as like aesthetic minimalist outfits for men. And then find one pic that you really like and try to copy that outfit exactly as best as you can. There's a lot of resources online and on like Reddit on where to actually like buy clothes. You could also just look up like, for example, like black trousers for men Reddit, and there'll be a bunch of like posts that you can just look at. Category number three is self-grooming. This is definitely a necessity to get good at. And I know a lot of you Asian guys out there are CS kids. So let me tell you, not showering is definitely not optimal. So you must shower max. Getting into the top 20% of being well-groomed is really as simple as one, finding a good haircut that suits your face and looks good on you and kind of upkeeping this. So like getting a regular haircut every like, you know, either month or two months or whatever. Two, have a simple skincare routine so you can have clear, healthy looking skin. And finally, three, just like general common sense grooming things, like make sure you shower so you don't smell, scrub your balls, 
Most Asian guys look better clean shaven, so don't go around with like a wispy little like pubic hair mustache. And also you can just wear deodorant and also you can wear cologne to smell even better. And it's just things like these. They're all common sense things that you know how to do. I guess most of the effort is probably really just being consistent in doing all of them. So your actionable steps for this self grooming category are one, find a good haircut that fits you. Uh, you can look on like Pinterest for inspiration or like I have some videos about haircuts too. Number two is build a simple skincare routine if you don't already have one. All you really need is a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen. You'll want to research your skin type and get like these three products for your skin type. And then just do your skincare routine pretty regularly. So in the morning, cleansing is actually pretty optional and then you want to put on moisturizer and sunscreen. And then at night, you'll want to cleanse your face and then just put on moisturizer. It's really pretty simple. I would recommend brands like CeraVe, Cetaphil, uh, Banner Cream, and La Roche-Posay. Category number four is social skills. Now, the first three categories that I went over are all kind of like physical traits. And so improving those and getting into the top 20% of those is like very straightforward. Um, with social skills and like personality and stuff, it's like a lot more complex because obviously everyone has like different personalities. Actually, that's not true. You can definitely improve your social skills in a very like linear and simple way. Um, the personality part is like obviously the very complex part. But in terms of actually like social skills that you can improve, Basic social skills that you'll like want to have to begin with are one, be able to like start and continue like an engaging conversation and two, be able to approach like a random stranger on the street and like be able to compliment them. And then this kind of builds up into being able to like just strike up random conversations with like random strangers you've never seen before. And then being good at that kind of then leads into being able to cold approach women and being able to strike up conversations with like random women that you see on the street. Um, and then with this, you can kind of like build repertoire and like get their number, etc., and just kind of things like that, right? Now, I know this step in particular can be pretty intimidating, especially if you're more introverted or a socially anxious person. I've definitely been there. You kind of just gotta like do it and you gotta practice. Like back when I was struggling with this, I knew logically that like nothing bad would happen. Like I could just go up to a random strangers, say their outfit looks cool, and then they'll say thanks probably. And then I'll probably like never see them ever again. And like, that's it, right? And they'll probably forget me within a day. And so this is like logically a very easy thing to do with like pretty much no consequences, but yet there's still some sort of like mental block or like anxiety preventing you from doing this. And again, the best way that I've found to kind of overcome this is to just kind of like say fuck it and just like do it. Like you just gotta get the reps in. And the more that you do it, the easier that it'll become. And this is kind of how you level up your like social skills. So to be in the top 20% of this category of social skills and personality, you'll want to one, be able to actually perform these basic social skills. And then two, you want to kind of use your like personality to extend how well you perform these social skills. Like when you talk to people, for example, and kind of be able to add like your own unique personal twist, if that makes sense at all. Okay, so to give a really dumb example, it's like these basic social skills of going up and like talking to people is like a regular attack, right? And then by having a good personality, it's like, it's like a buff to the attack. It's like plus 30% damage to this attack, right? And so if you have a good personality and you use these social skills, it'll be like 30% more like effective or whatever, right? Something like that. Obviously people have different personalities and so this will be different for everyone, but some general good traits to have in guys are being funny, being kind slash empathetic, but like not to the point of being a pushover, being ambitious and like intelligent and not being an incel. So your actionable step for this category is next time you're out on like on the street or like, you know, walking in town or like even in class or at school, just go up to a random stranger, compliment their outfit, say their like shirt looks cool or whatever, and and that's like plus one rep in leveling up your social skills. Finally, number five is career. Again, this is not as straightforward as like the physical traits stuff, but to be in the top like 20% of like career slash success, you generally just wanna be good at what you do. Obviously, this is very different for everyone. Um, some people want to become like software engineers, some people want to start their own business, some people are like still in school and studying. Um, some people want to like, I don't know, move to the Italian countryside and like live on a farm and live a very like simple and fulfilling life. But they all kind of have one thing in common. To be good at what you do, you have to put the work in to get good. Unless you're some like genius prodigy, then like, I don't know. I can't really give you advice on your specific like industry or field or whatever, but what I can do is give pretty general advice on how to actually do work well so you can actually put the work in and get good at whatever like ambition or goal that you have. And because pretty much all like disciplines require you to like do the act of doing work. This pretty much applies to everyone no matter what your career or goal is. So there are three main principles that I'll go over in this video in how to get good at work. Number one is to just like find time to do it. So like schedule like a block of time where you'll be undistracted and you'll be able to like focus and do work. Uh, most people I think already do this. And if you don't, it's like a pretty simple thing to implement. The second principle is the idea of hunt the antelope, not the mouse. A lion needs to feed himself and his family. And he has the choice to either one, hunt an antelope, or two, hunt the mouse. If he goes for the antelope, it's a lot harder because the antelope is faster, it's bigger, and it's just harder to like kind of take down and hunt. But if he does successfully hunt one, then you'll have like a lot of food to feed both himself and his family for a few days. Whereas if he chooses to hunt the mouse, by the time he kind of finally catches the mouse, like it's such like a small thing that like, 
the bare nutrients that he'll get from the mouse will kind of just only replace what he spent hunting the mouse, right? And so he's essentially back at square zero where he's, he's hungry and he has no food. And so for this lion, the only real way to make progress is to hunt the antelope. And so the point is to kind of do the task that has the biggest positive impact first. So for example, when I was in school in math class, the activity that had like the biggest impact in me like learning the content of the math class was doing practice problems. By doing practice problems, I would be able to kind of like practice these like theorems and like skills and whatnot. And if I didn't know how to do something, I could just like flip back to like the examples or whatever and look at how the example is done and then kind of just like learn on the go and be able to do problems that way, right? So essentially at the start of your work block, tackle like the highest impact, like biggest, most important tasks first. So your actionable step for this category is next time you have like a deep work block, write down what this highest impact task is and do it first. So instead of like planning to like study for like five hours, which is very vague, write down that you'll do like, you know, X flashcards or you'll do like Y like practice problems or whatever, right? So that's a very brief overview of these five categories and how to get good at these categories up until like, I don't know, the top 20% probably. Obviously, once you get to like the top 20% of every of these categories, then you can kind of like continue to improve in these categories until you get in like the top 10%, the top 5%, et cetera, right? In terms of actually like making progress in these categories, I would focus on only doing two to three of these things at a time because of the law of diminishing returns, which means that when you first start out at something, you can put in a little bit of effort and you'll probably get like a lot of results. And then as you continue to get better at that thing, you can put in more and more effort and like the amount of results proportional to the effort that you put in is like less and less. And this is pretty common in like the gym with like newbie gains. For example, if someone who's never been to the gym before goes and starts lifting in the gym like three times a week, for example, They'll make like a lot of progress but then after they live for a few years and if they continue like the same like frequency and program then the progress that they make is like a lot less compared to when they first started so this concept is pretty true to like pretty much anything in life i think but then once you kind of hit this point of diminishing returns where you're not getting as much like results for the effort that you're putting in i would only start focusing on one to two things like maybe three depending on the task just because like doing your skincare routine and going to the gym every day are like very easy to do at the same time um but essentially by kind of Focusing on fewer things, you're able to make more progress in those things that you're focusing on. In terms of determining like which categories to focus on first, think of your life quality as like a platform, right? And this platform is supported by five pillars, where these five pillars are obviously these five categories. So for example, if you're very good at fitness and you know fashion and stuff, but your like self-grooming is like bad and you're stinky and you also like don't have any like career ambitions or whatever, then your like fitness and fashion pillars will be kind of really high, but your self-grooming and your career pillars will be like a lot lower. So like the highest that you could technically build this platform without like it falling or like being tilted or whatever is kind of at the height of where your career and your self-grooming pillars are, right? So essentially it's ideal to kind of have all of your pillars be high so that the actual like platform that you build is can be as high as possible. And so that is how to stand out as an Asian guy. It's just kind of being good at at least these five categories and being good at them at the same time. I don't know if you've ever played like a video game that has like, you know, armors and like for each of like the armors, you have like set pieces. So if you like, if you wear like two of like this set of armor, then you get like a stat bonus, like in addition to whatever stats the armor has. And then if you wear like four of like the set pieces or whatever, then you get like another bonus. That's kind of how like stacking being good at these categories is. Being good at all of them will make you stand out a lot more than just being good at like one or two of them will. So that's all for me today. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Um, join my Discord and make sure to do those actionable steps that I went over in this video. Bye-bye.